Plant parasitic nematodes comprise one of the major limiting factors in vegetable production. Most vegetable crops are attacked by one or more species of nematodes and are often involved in complexes including other soil borne plant pathogens. Damage, cost and yield loss however depends mainly on the farming system employed. They are highly damaging in intensive production system like protected cultivation where monocropping is practiced while they play a less significant role under subsistence agriculture wherein multiple intercropping farming system is followed. Crop rotations also checks the nematode population to a certain extent. Extensive damage by nematodes occur where nematode infested planting materials in the form of seedlings is used for planting. Therefore, care should be taken to use nematode free seedlings and soil has to be treated for nematodes before sowing. More than 70 nematodes genera have been reported to be associated with vegetables in India. But only three species, Melodogenes species, Rotilunculus reniformis, and Pratilunculus species are of utmost significance. Besides, Tylunculorhynchus brassicae causes economic damage to crops like cauliflower, cabbage, nolcold, radish, etc. Root knot nematode, Melodogeny species. Etymology Melodogeny is a Greek word. Melo means opal, oid means resembling, guinea means female, that means. Opal like female refers to the shape of the female of this genus where it attains maturity. It is commonly known as root knot nematode for the characteristic symptom of knots or galls produced by this nematode on the roots of host plants. Distribution and host range of this nematode Root knot nematodes are found almost anywhere on earth and hence cosmopolitan in distribution and involves all the major crops including vegetables, fruits, ornamental plants, pulses, cereals, plantation crops, cash crops and even weeds. Over 90 species of melida gaining have been described to date. However, four species melida gaining incognita, melida gaining javanica, melida gaining arenaria, Melodogeny hapla with their wide distribution range are of particular economic importance to vegetable production. Among them, Melodogeny incognita, Melodogeny javanica, and Melodogeny orinaria are commonly found distributed in the tropics with an average temperature of 36 degrees centigrade or lower, whereas Melodogeny capla is common in the temperate region with the rare occurrence in the cooler upland tropics. Vegetable crops like tomato, eggplant, okra, chilies, cooker pits, carrot, potato and beans are prone to attack by highly pathogenic nematodes that is Melodogeny incognita and Melodogeny javanica and Melodogeny hapla. On the other hand, is encountered in Jammu and Kashmir, Himachal Pradesh and hilly areas of Assam where it is a problem on potato and mentha. Severity of nematode damage increases many fold under protective condition. Biology and life cycle of this nematode. Female of this are sedentary endoparasites. Root galls harbor the pyriform females with the heads located near the vascular tissue 
and terminal portion near the root epidermis. Parthenogenesis is the mode of reproduction as vermiform males remain in soil and are free living. Female lays 200 to 400 eggs in the gelatinous matrix secreted by their rectal glands. Embryogenesis takes about 10 to 15 days as a result of which first stage juvenile that is J1 is produced within the egg. The second stage juvenile that is J2 is are formed as soon as the first stage juvenile molt within the egg cell. The J2s on hatching move about in the soil in search of a suitable host and on finding one, penetrate the roots just behind the root tip with the help of their stylet. The development of feeding site known as the giant cell is initiated when the J2s fix their head near the vascular tissue with the rest of the body in cortical region. Giant cells are multinucleated cells produced as a result of karyogenesis without cytogenesis. As feeding commences, the female J2s assume swollen shape with V-shaped genital primordium. This is followed by second molt, which occurs in about 7 days. J3 and J4 retain their old cuticle. The pointed tail of J2 is still visible as a spike and hence this stage are also referred as spike tailed stages. These stages are non-feeding stages as they lay stylet. The juvenile changes to J4 as the third molt occur. At the last molt, adult female becomes sac-like with a fully developed reproductive system. Adult males remain vermiform, come out of the soil and are short-lived. The whole life cycle takes about 25 days at 25 to 30 degrees centigrade. On tomato, Melidogen incognita may have 8 or more generation per year. Symptom due to this nematode infestation. The formation of galls or nodes on the root system is the primary and specific systems associated with melidogenic infestation. The size, number and nature of the galls form depend on the species involved, nematode population in the tissue and finally age of the host plant. In cucurbits, extremely massive fleshy galls are formed whereas in crops like capsicum, Galls are small. Other vegetables like tomato, eggplant, radish, carrots, etc. may have small to large resilient galls. Monocotyledonous crops such as onion and leek show very discreet symptoms like the presence of protruding egg mosses on the root surface. The symptoms caused by melidogenic hapla on vegetables differ from those produced by most other species. The galls produced are small, more or less spherical and are produced with profuse root branching originating from the gall tissue causing a bird root system. Hooking and forking is the result of infection in the tap roots that means the case of carrot and radish etc. resulting in tuber deformation. In leguminous vegetables, the rhizobium nodules look similar to nematode induced galls but differ from the latter. Nematode induced galls differ from rhizobium nodules that are nematode induced galls are swelling of the roots itself whereas bacterial nodules are the side appendages. The root galls cannot be easily separated whereas rhizobium nodules can be easily separated from the root. Galls are hard in texture in contrast to nodules that are spongy in nature. Now we will see the survival and dissemination. Being obligate parasite, the absence of suitable host plants for prolonged periods leads to the disappearance of root knot nematode. In such cases, they often survive on weed host. During stress, when nematode population rapidly decline, a proportion of the eggs in the egg mosque goes in diapause and ensures free perpetuation of the species. There is reduction in emergence and juvenile activity 
under adverse environmental conditions thereby increasing the chance of survival survival is influenced mainly by moisture content of the soil and to a lesser extent by temperature economic importance of this nematode the loss of vegetable crops in the tropic ranged from 17 to 20% on eggplant and 24 to 38% on tomato alone in commercial production where intensive cultivation is practiced sequential cropping of one susceptible crop after another with up to four crops per year would lead to total crop failure crop loss due to melidogen in coconut oil under intensive cultivation ranged from 30 to 60 percent on brinjal under protected cultivation where susceptible crops are repeatedly planted in the same soil the damage is very severe management of root knot nematode cultural methods available leaving the fields empty during the dry season followed by growing of non host during the wet season checks the melidogeny population gold roots should be uprooted and destroyed repeated tilling and turning of the soil at regular intervals between crops reduce root knot nematode density to a certain extent incorporation of large amount of organic material like oil cake coffee husk neem marigold leaves that means 5 quintals per hectare into the soil reduces root knot densities this may be due to the nematicidal activity of the organic materials or the metabolites produced by them organic amendments also improve soil structure and water holding capacity reduce diseases and limit weed growth which ultimately leads to a stronger plant and improved tolerance to nematode attack soil solarization with plastic mulches which leads to the development of lethal temperature around 45 degree centigrade in the soil is being used in some countries for control of root knot nematode and soil borne diseases care should be taken to use nematode free seedlings for transplanting cruciferous crop which are either moderately resistant or tolerant to root knot nematodes or successfully rotated with a smaller number of highly susceptible vegetable crops following trap cropping system is a good means of nematode management in this method a good host crop is planted for a short duration of time to ensure good nematode penetration and then the developing sedentary juveniles in the root tissues are killed by removal of root from the soil lettuce and radish or the commonly used trap crops growing antagonistic crop which produce nematicidal compounds helps in controlling nematodes density as well marigold sunhum castor bean asparagus and sesame are some of important antagonistic crop used for nematode control activity using resistant varieties nematode resistant cultivars have been developed for cultivation in recommended areas but it should not be grown continuously for years to avoid the emergence of resistance breaking biotypes of nematode chemicals which are useful to this nematode use of nematicides should be preferably confined to nurseries only at recommended doses under unavoidable circumstances they may be used under field condition a wide range of granular nematicides are available for example borate carbofiron axamil dionacin derpofos isofsofos etc which are effective against root knot nematodes on vegetable crop under field and greenhouse condition granular nematicides are either spread over the soil surface and incorporated into the soil before planting liquid formulation may be applied through drip irrigation and is more effective than granular form as the later places the material directly in the rhizosphere for example when axamil applied to tomato by drip irrigation 
is more effective than granular nematicides applied at transplanting in controlling root knot nematodes. A more practical approach would be to treat transplants in nurseries or dip treatment example dip treatment of seedlings of eggplant and tomato with phenomipos, pensulfothion or carbosulfon at the rate of 500 ppm for 30 minutes or 1000 ppm for 1 hour significantly reduced melidigain incognita galling. In case of bold seeded vegetable crops like okra, french beans and cooker beets, seed testing is very effective and is carried out with carbosulfon 25 at the rate of 3 percent active ingredient on weight by weight basis that means 120 gram per kg of seeds. Biological control. This method involves application of predatory fungi and fungal pathogen that infects X juvenile or adult in the soil or on the root surface. For example, oviparasitic fungi, Phacillomyces, Lilacinus and Pochonia climdosporia, their commercial formulation when applied at 50 gram per meter square along with sufficient quantity of farmyard manure or vermicompost at the time of nursery preparation are most effective. Farmyard manure or vermicompost helps in colonization of this fungi. Pachuria penetrans, an obligate parasite of Melidogyne species, inoculated into the field at the rate of 50 gram per meter squared in nursery or 20 kg per hectare in field condition can significantly reduce the nematode load in soil. Integrated Nematode Management One of the most effective strategy to manage nematodes, solar nursery. Beds treated with carbofuran at the rate of 0.3 gram of active ingredient that means 10 gram per meter square plus neem cake at the rate of 500 kg per hectare may be used to raise the ceilings. Soil solarization combined with desomet is much more effective and promises increased yield of tomato. Similarly, solarization together with carbofuran increased tomato yields by 96 percent and solarization with neem cake by 52 percent coupled with a significant reduction in nematode population. Solarization for 2 to 4 weeks coupled with phenomifos is considered a suitable control measure in greenhouse tomato. Reniform nematode roti lenculus reniformis. Reniform nematode ranks next to melidogeny as far as damage to vegetables is concerned. It is sedentary semi endoparasite and is a limiting factor in vegetable production in tropical and subtropical areas. It has a wide host range and attacks over 100 plant species including many vegetable crops like tomato, brinjal, okra, cucumber, potato, etc. Biology of this nematode. Males are not parasitic and remain vermiform. Females are penetrate the root cortex, assume kidney shape and become sedentary. It takes about 24 to 29 days for the egg to egg life cycle to complete. The reniform nematode is capable of survival in moist soil in the absence of host for 7 months and for 6 months in dry soil. Symptom due to this nematode infestation. Unthrifty plant growth, stunting, yellowing and leaf curling are the non-specific above ground symptom. Following infection by reniform nematode, root necrosis in the cortical region can observe. Under dissection microscope, females along with their adhering egg mosses can be easily observed. Soil particles associated to the gelatinous egg mosses often give them a dark appearance which helps in their detection. Management Cultural method Crop rotation with maize, sugarcane, finger millet, groundnut, capsicum, chilies and other grasses tend to reduce nematode density. 
Soil amendments with the animal manure and cotton seed cakes play a supportive role in controlling reniform nematode. Physical method Reniform nematode can be eradicated from infested soil following treatment with 50 degree centigrade hot water for 5 minutes. Nematode population in the field may also be reduced by short periods of flooding. Soil solarization may provide season long. Control of Rotilunculus reniformis On tomato, even under conditions of abundant rainfall and extended cloud cover, biological method. Not much work has been done regarding biocontrol of this nematode. Pesilomyces lilacinus is known to reduce nematode densities in field. Endomycorrhizal fungus glomus fasciculatum reduces the penetration and reproduction of rotilunculus reniformis on tomato and cucumber. Chemical method Rotilunculus reniformis can be controlled by a wide range of fumigant and non fumigant nematicides. The combination of nematicides and neem cake increase the yield of tomato and reduce nematode density in field trials. Foliar application of axamyl brings down nematode penetration. All granular nematicides reduce rotilunculus reniformis densities in tomato. Integrated method Soil solarization using mulching seeds for 5 weeks combined with Carbofron at the rate of 3 kg active ingredient per hectare or solarization with neem cake result in a significant increase in tomato or cucumber yield and reduction in nematode density. Root lesion nematode Pratilunchus species It is a migratory endoparasitic nematode. 10 species of which have been identified which is usually found in rhizosphere or roots of vegetables crop. The one which is more prevalent under Indian condition is Pratilunchus indigus which infects vegetable like tomato and brinchal. The biology of this nematode. Reproduction is by sexual means and has a simple life cycle. Eggs may be deposited either in root or in soil. It takes 30 to 90 days for the egg to egg life cycle to complete depending upon the species, host plant and environmental conditions. Symptom Major above ground symptoms include stunted growth, chloritic plants, over floatings and dieback are the main aerial symptoms. Below ground symptoms include necrotic lesion, griddling of roots. Other microorganisms can penetrate through these lesions leading to disease complexes. Control measure. Lesion nematodes can be controlled with fumigant and non-fumigant nematicides. Integrated management practice as in root knot and reniform nematodes would control this nematode. Tylango rhynchus brassicae, stunt and stylet nematode. 22 species of Tylango rhynchus have been reported in the rhizosphere of vegetable crops, out of which only Tylangorhynchus brassicae holds economic significance in India. It infects cabbage, cauliflower, nolcol, lettuce, radish, chili and tomato. Biology Unlike other organisms of the same species which only feed on epidermal cells of the roots, Tylangorhynchus brassicae has been observed to penetrate throughout the corticus. Management Interculturing with Morgosa and crop rotation with non-host crops has been reported to improve the growth of susceptible vegetable crops. Potato chist nematode or golden nematode of potato, Globodera species. Potato chist nematode comprise one of the most important plant protection problems on global basis. It is a major potato pest in most of the potato growing areas in tropical and subtropical zones and temperate regions of the world. In India, the nematode was first reported by F. G. W. Jones in the year 1961 from a potato field in Tamil Nadu.
It is being reported recently in Himachal Pradesh as well. Globodera balida is more prevalent than Globodera rostrokinensis in India. Biology Eggs remain viable in soil for a long period of time. Second stage juvenile alone are infective which hatch only on getting stimulation by potato root exudates. Juveniles have feeding site or zincitium near their head to grow and accumulate nutrients. After the final molt, male nematodes leave the roots whereas female nematode mold to become spherical and sedentary adults. The life cycle is completed in about 5 to 7 weeks under nilgiri conditions where a second generation may also occur. The female become chist after dying on the roots and their cuticles become brown or leathery and certain as many as 500 x. Symptoms Stunting of plants in nematode infested patches, wilting and chlorosis of leaves, flowering is sparse or absent, poorly developed root system and reduced tuber formation. Management Since a nematode is host specific, rotation with non host crops like radish, carrot, turnip, cabbage, cauliflower, beetroot, strawberry, etc. is recommended. Healthy nematode free planting material is the best way to control potato chest nematodes. Using resistant varieties may be the best means of managing them. For example, Kupri Swarna. Following sick quarantine rules help check nematode spread. Nematodes are a growing concern and most frequently observed plant parasitic pest of vegetable crops. Infection by this microscopic roundworms is a major cause of poor crops yield in the tropic and subtropic. More than 70 nematode genera have been reported to be associated with the vegetable in India. But only three namely Melidogony species, Rotilangulus reniformis and Pratilangus species are of utmost significance. Besides Tailangro rhynchus, brassicae, potato chest nematode cause economic damage to crops like cauliflower, cabbage, radish, potato, etc. Crop damage from nematode is not readily apparent in most cases and is it often remains hidden by many other factors limiting plant growth. An estimated 30% of world vegetable produce is lost due to nematode damage. Therefore, Preventive measures have to be followed and the effective nematode management strategies including soil solarization, crop rotation, use of resistant cultivars, soil amendments, biocontrol methods and integrated pest management strategies have to be practiced in order to minimize crop loss due to nematode.